Hey there, my name is Miles Cochran. I'm a public information officer for Caltrans District 1, representing Humboldt and Del Norte counties. And today we're talking about Del Norte County and specifically the Smith River area and the Dr. Fine bridge replacement. So the Dr. Fine bridge replacement is a project that's going to replace, of course, the Dr. Fine bridge over the Smith River on US 101 north of Crescent City. It was built back in 1940. The existing bridge is near the end of its useful life, and a new bridge is going to better accommodate vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Here I am with area construction engineer Clayton Malmberg. Welcome, Clayton. Can you tell me just a little bit about the upsides about this new bridge? Why is this new one better? So the new bridge will be designed to meet seismic standards and design standards to accommodate uh, potential forces in the event of an earthquake. It'll also be uh, significantly wider than the existing bridge. It'll have uh, shoulders and then also a whole separated uh, pedestrian walkway and bicycle path to protect uh, pedestrians as they go across the bridge. So what's really interesting about this project, it's wonderful, it's a big project, it's an important project for this community. It being such a huge project, there's actually minimal traffic impacts for this. How, how is that possible? Yeah, so the way we're going to construct this bridge is we're going to build a temporary detour bridge. It's actually going to be a two-lane wide detour bridge that'll accommodate traffic in both directions uh, without the need for a signal system like you see on most projects. So that'll really help keep traffic flowing while we're building the bridge. There will be the need for the occasional lane closure, but it won't be on a regular basis. It'll be more periodic and as needed. The detour bridge that's being constructed here is a panel bridge, the same one that uh, is used down there at uh, Hunter Panther. However, this is significantly larger than the one at Hunter Panther. Uh, like I said, it'll be a two-lane bridge and uh, significantly longer as well. We're going to be able to complete this thing relatively quickly in terms of the timeline. How long are we going to construct the temporary bridge? How long are we going to demo the existing bridge? And then how long is it going to take to build the new one? <laughs> Sure. So altogether, we're hoping and shooting for around three years. The, the first year uh, beginning this winter and into summer, we'll be constructing the detour bridge. And we're hoping by a fall that we'll have that completed and traffic moved over to the detour bridge. Once that's been completed, then we'll begin work on, on demoing the existing bridge. The new bridge will be on the same alignment as the existing bridge. So we'll start the demo and, and start building throughout the summer of 2024, the new bridge. And uh, hopefully by the end of 2024 and into 2025, then we'll start moving people back over onto the new bridge and, and into 2025, we'll be removing the detour bridge. So here we sit in uh, 2023 right now and sometime in 2025, potentially barring unforeseen circumstances, we could be driving on a brand new bridge there. We're working hard to achieve that. Out here, we've got a seven day working schedule. So the, the contractors working, you know, at least six days a week and potentially seven days a week when needed to meet that, that tight schedule, as you mentioned. And you're talking about working in the river, but we have a schedule for working in the river and a number of other environmental considerations that we're um, taking on for this project. Can you talk about those a little bit? Yeah, so it is in a very environmentally sensitive area, and it's also important for, for a lot of people for fisheries and recreation as well. So um, we have salmon and steelhead, and there's also some identified, some endangered mussels right within the vicinity of, of where we're doing the work. So a lot of the work that we're doing, we have to be very cautious and careful, making sure that we're minimizing and, and eliminating impacts to those resources. Yeah, and then another thing that comes to mind, you know, whenever we demolish an old bridge, this one built in 1940, are we able to recycle and reuse these materials? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of the a lot of the waste from the concrete will be crushed up and and then reused in in new concrete and and, and new asphalt. Also, um, the, the steel is also going to be removed and and recycled as well. And then there's an additional point that I want to bring up too. the boating community often travels under the Dr. Fine Bridge. Can you talk about how this is impacting them, Clayton? During the summer months, we will have a gravel berm out and they won't be able to access underneath the bridge. But we have posted some notifications at the boat ramps uh, to notify people. And we'll also put some additional signage and things out to let people know that the access during the summer months will be limited. However, as I mentioned, during the summer months, flows are substantially lower and there's not really a whole lot of boat access during those summer months typically. 
we actually do have a project webpage. You can find it by just Googling Caltrans Dr. Fine, and it's going to be the first thing that pops up there. That also includes a, a fact sheet about this project and a number of the things that Clayton and I have been discussing today. Hey, Clayton, is there anything else that you want to mention about this project? Just stick with us. It's going to take us a few years, and we're going to do everything we can to minimize our impacts to the public. And once we're done, we're going to have a bridge I think everyone's going to enjoy the use of and something we can all be proud of. Well, we're lucky to have you working on this one. It is Clayton Momberg, Caltrans Area Construction Engineer, talking about the Dr. Fine Bridge replacement. Thanks again, Clayton. Thanks, Miles.